Hey everyone, welcome back to another Utang Vlog. So, um, in this video, we're going to talk about the app na pwede niyong utangan from 30,000 pesos to 1 million pesos and then 1.89% lang yung interest guys per month ha, per month. And then monthly po yung terms niya. So, hindi siya pa 7-7 days lang. No, operate na isang banko and therefore, it's regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission and Banko Central ng Pilipinas. So, maganda yung app nito guys. That is kung pasahan ka. Kaya in this video guys, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga screenshots, step-by-step -step process para mas makapag-prepare kayo para walang bokya. So if you want to learn more about this app, then please stay tuned. And in today's video, wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa guys. Yung pag-uusapan natin is Zuki App by SB or Security Bank. So, bako po yung nag-ooperate ng loan app na to guys. Kaya, hindi siya illegal. <laughs> Siyempre, because bank po siya guys, si bank is assured na nagpa-follow sa mga rules and regulations when it comes to financing activities. Announcement? Meron akong pa GCash. So, yung first na mag-comment, bibigyan ko ng 15 pesos na GCash. Pag nag-comment ka, pakirefresh muna para ma-sure mo na ikaw yung first na nag-comment. Parang walang tampo-tampo, guys. Kung sakali man hindi ikaw yung first na nag-comment, then be sure to watch out for my next video. Baka sa next video ko, ikaw na yung first. So, we'll be doing that for the rest of December. Please take note that this video is not sponsored. This video was made based on my personal experience for the purpose of showing screenshots. So, instructions guys. It does not guarantee na makakapasa kayo eh, because yung approval will be will depend on the bank and it will depend on the information na binigay nyo at saka yung completeness ng requirements mo. So, let's jump right into it. Um, ito yung personal loan na ino-offer po ni Zuki by SB Finance. So, yung app na to guys, meron siyang iba't ibang loan products and yung isa na dito is yung personal loan. So, aside from personal loan, si Zuki ay nag-offer din ng motor seat loan, hulugan, tsaka car for cash. If you are interested with Hulugan, kasi iba po siya sa personal loan, I already created a video about Hulugan. I'll just put the link in the description box below. Because for today's video, pag-uusapan natin yung personal loan. So, itong personal loan, guys, it's a multi-purpose loan, cash loan. So, naka-cash out. Baka may magkano ba din cash out? Cash out siya, guys, for whatever personal purpose. For example, it pwede siyang pang school, um, personal expenses, renovation, business expenses, cash expense, whatever. Kaya kasi nga makakapag-loan ka dito ng 30,000 pesos up to 1 million pesos. At hindi kailangan yung mga post-dated checks. Enjoy 1.89 monthly interest. Eh, ito guys yung maganda sa banko. Kasi yun nga, reasonable kasi yung interest nila. Hindi tulad sa mga loan apps na yun. Yun nga lang, sa mga banko kasi, ang daming requirements. Strict yung screening process nila. Kaya, this is why, isha-share ko sa inyo yung process ng paano pag-apply. Processing fee niya is 2,000 pesos. Siyempre, malaki yung loan, malaki yung processing fee. O, so, yung 1.89 niya, para na rin siya naging 39.53% annually. At least, ito guys, annual. Hindi tulad ng mga loan apps dyan, na yung 30% na yan, isang buwan pa lang. So, ang dami-daming nagsasabi na, mas magandang umutang sa banko because yun nga, mababa yung interest. But, Unfortunately, not everyone is qualified. Marami yung nabibigo kasi hindi po nakakapasa. Saan ako dyan, guys? So, if you stick around to the end of this video, isi-share ko sa inyo and i-explain ko sa inyo yung reasons kung bakit na-reject ka. I-download mo dapat yung Zuki app and then create ka ng account. Now, kung gusto mo malaman kung paano mag-create ng account, um, diniscuss ko na siya sa previous video ko kung saan kinover ko po yung um, hulugan. Putahan nyo na lang yun doon for the process of how to create an account dito sa Zuki app. Kaya click mo yung personal loan dun sa taas. Siyempre, si Zuki app, hihingi rin siya ng permission. So, hihingi siya ng access to take pictures and to record in um, video um, while using the app. Siyempre, magsisimula siya by giving you a rundown of 
um, the terms and conditions and yung mga disclaimer, yung mga disclosures nila. At syempre, hindi ka makakapag-proceed kung hindi mo siya scroll down to the very end kung saan mag a ka sa terms and conditions na yan. So, kung meron ka referral code, I believe it increases your chances of getting approved. But, okay lang yan kung wala, guys. Because kung wala kang referral code, you can just skip that part and click I don't have a referral code. Next is, syempre, hihingi niya yung personal information mo. So, please ensure na yung ibibigay mong information dito, guys, is accurate. And magkatugma po siya later on sa ID na isasubmit mo sa kay Security or sa kay Zuki app. Now, yung mga may asterisk, ito po yung mga required fields. For example, yung gender, kasarian, nationality, place of birth, primary phone, telco provider, smart, globe, yung mga ganun. Secondary phone number, but since wala siyang in asterisk, guys, it's not required. And educational attainment, itatanong nyo rin yun. Next, hihingi nyo yung address mo. Of course, you will give your personal address. And then, i-declare mo whether or not yung address dyan, yung present address mo, is the same with your permanent address. Pagkatapos ng address, guys, hihingin ka niya ng in employment information. So, dito makikita ni Bang yung source of funds mo. Sasabihin mo kung anong subtype siya. Ito yung sasabihin mo kung sole proprietorship pa yung business mo, kung freelancer ka ba, kung you're getting income from the practice of your profession. For example, lawyer, doc doctor, yung mga ganon. And then yung occupation. So, just be truthful, just be accurate. Provide your occupation, your source of funds, um, gross annual income, and the name of your business. Aside from that, hihingin nyo yung nature ng business mo, um, date yung business established. It's important, take note of this. Yung length ng business, um, yung registration number with DTI, um, date of registration, business phone number, business local number, yung mga ganon. So, depende sa type of employment na isasagot mo, Doon magdi-depend yung following, yung following questions. Now, when you're done with that, the next is, hihingin niya yung gross annual income. You're, kung sakaling employed ka naman, hihingin niya yung employer's name mo. Um, pipiliin mo, meron na siyang list of companies na andun na mismo sa app. Pero kung wala dun sa list, pwede mong piliin yung other organization. And then sa baba, pag pinili mo yung other, ibibigay mo yung name talaga ng employer. So yung contact number, yung local number, yung email address, salary, pay date, kung when kayo nagsasahod, ihihingin niya rin yung info niya. And then, dapat guys, lahat ng sinusupply mong information dito, mabiverify ni banko. So learn loan purpose, kung security, bank, um, payroll, payroll or depositor ka ba kung meron ka bang existing credit card, required document checklist. Now, based dun sa mga information na sinuplay mo, dun magbabasi kung anong yung documents na hihingi niya sa iyo. For example, kapag employed ka guys, syempre, hihingi po siya ng company ID, ng payslip, or ng bank statement. Siyempre, hihingi din siya ng proof of billing and yung proof na meron kang account with Security Bank. Kung sakali yung sinabi mo naman is self-employed ka, siyempre, hihingi niya yung mga DTI, Trevor Trevor, yung mga business registration. Yung ITR mo, hihingi niya yung mga stuff like that, guys. So, yun, um, i-upload mo lang doon sa app. Make sure it's in JPEG format and hindi masyadong malaki yung file size. So, yun yung mga screenshots, guys, yung mga information na hihingi, hihingi ni SB or ni Zuki app sa inyo. So, just make sure na accurate, walang wrong spelling, and lahat ng information na inisinuplay mo doon is supported by the documents that you will later on upload. Kasi importante talaga na accurate yung information, magkatugma yung mga information na pinaglalagay nyo dyan, guys. So, pag nabigay nyo na yung mga info na yon yung next page, hihingin po niya sa'yo yung loan details na. Pwede mong i-move lang yung slider para ma-set mo yung amount na gusto mong utangin. So, yung minimum dun is 30,000 pesos, tsaka yung max daw is 5 million. Siyempre, subject for approval yan, guys. So, that doesn't mean na kung nilagay mong 5 million, that dyan, automatic, 5 million din yung i-approve sa'yo. Kasi titingnan din ni Banko kung ta pwede ka bang pahiramin ng ganong palaking amount. Sa baba, mayroong loan tenor or ito yung terms. So, kung gusto mong 12 months, 24 months, yung mga ganon ba. Kaya sa baba, makikita mo yung indicative interest or indicative amortization mo. Um, parang bibigyan ka ng idea kung ilan yung loan na principal, including the interest, at magkano yung babayaran mo every month. So, good luck. <laughs> Just click next if um, napili mo na yung loan amount, saka yung length or loan tenor. 
So next is papipiliin kanya kung saan mo gustong ipadala yung loan. Again, it's very important na accurate po yung imp information na ibibigay nyo kasi yung ayaw nating mangyari is mapunta sa iba yung perang inunta. So next, magde-declare ka if mayroon ka bang existing loans. Um, other existing loans, for example, sa Bill E, si Home Credit, yung mga ganon, yung mga credit card mo, yung ganon. And syempre, kahit hindi mo sabihin, malalaman pa rin yan ni Bang. Then, sasabihin niya na application is submitted. Bibigyan niya ng reference number, yung loan amount na inapplyan mo, yung summary, kumbaga, tapos kung how long mo siya babayaran, say, for example, 12 months, tapos yung interest na sinacharge niya sa'yo monthly. Makikita mo yun sa summary. How long does it take for the bank to come up with a decision whether or not pauutangin ka o hindi? Unfortunately, guys, hindi ako pumasa. And right after ko siyang sinamit, sabi ni bank sa akin, declined po ako, guys. Alam ko, marami sa atin yung sasama yung loob kasi pati hindi ako pumasa, malaki naman yung income ko, yung mga ganarin-ganarin na mga drama ba. So here are the reasons kung bakit nadidecline tayo ni bank ko, guys. First of all, let's start with the obvious. Baka masyadong mataas po yung loan na ina-applyan sa ating income. So, syempre, si bank also wants to make sure na kaya ng sweldo natin or ng income natin bayaran yung monthly payments. Say, for example, how 50,000 per month yung income mo, tapos doon ka nag-apply sa 5 million, most likely sasabihin ni bank na mababa pa yata yung income mo para ma-handle mo yung 5 million. Next is, baka masyado pa ng maraming utang. Remember na banks have access to um, banks are accessing parties sa CIC guys, which means pwede nilang silipin yung ating mga <laughs> credit history. Kaya yun, kahit na hindi mo man sabihin kay bank na may utang kung ganito, meron kang tinakbuhan utang, nasisilip pa rin nila guys. Pag masyado ng marami yung utang mo, pwede ka rin i-reject kahit na malaki yung income mo. Eh. Uh, other reasons kung bakit hindi ka na-approve is syempre, kulang yung requirements na sinamit mo or merong inconsistencies sa information na binigay mo. Remember na si bank kasi medyo strict yan sa kanilang screening at sa kanilang approval process. And then finally, para naman dun sa mga um, business or sa, may mga business at self-employed. And I think ito yung reason kung bakit ako na-decline. Unfortunately, yung business ko, hindi pa naman siya umabot ng 5 years. Kaya... Kung employed ka man or kung may business ka man, maganda na matagal ka na sa ganitong industry. Kung may business ka, 3 or 5 year, uh, three or five years or more. Just because may business ka kasi, that does not mean na kumikita ka na. Kaya yun, medyo, um, medyo maselan si Bang. Kaya kung hindi pa matagal yung business mo, pwede ka rin niyang i-reject. Same with employees, guys. Kung hindi ka pa regular, kung um, hindi ka pa matagal sa company, maaari ka rin niyang i-reject um, i or i-decline. Kapag na-decline ka, you have to wait for 6 months bago ka mag-apply ulit. By then, dapat yung mga existing loans nyo ngayon is somehow bayad na, konti na lang yung binabayaran yung loan, and um, silipin nyo na rin yung credit report nyo dun sa CIC. Punta kayo sa website ni CIC para malaman kung paano kayo makakuha ng copy of your credit report. So, hope, I hope guys na yung mga screenshots na shinare sa inyo is makatulong para mas makapag-prepare kayo sa pag-apply ng personal loan kay Security Bank. Um, if you have other tips, feel free to share them in the description box below and watch out for my next video. Again, yung first na mag-comment, meron 50 pesos na Gcash sa akin. Paki-refresh na lang kung kayo nga talaga yung first na nag-comment and let's communicate through email kung kayo yung first. So, i-refresh para walang pang-putampu guys. And I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!